So back with another Fixing Faulty eBay junk series and this time I've got a Nintendo DS Lite and again I bought it off eBay, no surprises there but the intention is to fix this up and sell it on again but it's not been opened yet so I've got no idea what kind of condition it's in what I thought I'd do is quickly show you the, the auction listing so you get an idea of what I know about the console so if I just zoom in, I'll show you it here so I paid the camera focus paid fifteen pounds for it and then five pounds postage and the description is kind of vague uh, I'll just scroll down here and I'll show you it says works okay till you put the game into in it and you wait and the game don't load up or sometimes it does so uh, yeah <laughs> kind of vague description there. So what I think I'll do is I'll just open this up and we can have a look at it together, see what kind of condition it's in. So first signs are looking promising and there's no obvious damage anywhere on the, the unit. Overall it looks like it's in reasonably clean condition there. There's no major scratches or, or dents anywhere and uh, the hinge isn't cracked, which is a common complaint of these Nintendo DS's, so that's good. But, uh, open it up, have a look at the screens. Again, the screens aren't scratched or anything, they're just a bit grubby, which is not a problem. The buttons all feel nice. There it was. Yep. And it's missing the stylus, but no, no big problem there. But uh, yeah, let's fire it up and see if we get any problems. So the green lights come on, good sign. Lights are all on, screens, I should say. It's gone into the dashboard. So that's cool. So I'll try a game. I've got a copy of Grand Theft Auto here. So going off the seller's kind of sketchy description, I'm going to have a guess and say that the, the pins in here are maybe slightly out of alignment or maybe they've bent or something. So I'll put a game in and see if it registers. Just switch this on and off again. So let it boot up. Touch screen works fine, it's always good as well. There's no DS cart inserted. Let's just try it again. So it's not registering the, the cartridge. So what I'll do is I'll have a look inside the, the cartridge bay, see if there's anything obvious. You can't really see that, so what I'll do is I'll go grab a, a torch or something and have a look in there. Just give me a second. So I've grabbed the torch and I've had a quick look at this off camera and it looks like there's maybe a couple of pins in the cartridge bay that are out of alignment and aren't making proper contact with the, the cartridges. So I'll try and give you a quick look at this. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on camera. But um, I'll try and get you the best angle to show you this. You can probably just about make out there's a couple of pins back there that are kind of off centre. So what I can do is I can either take the, the whole console apart and readjust those those pins or I could probably even just get a precision screwdriver and very carefully bend them back into the shape but what I've got planned for this particular console is I'm going to replace the, the whole shell and I've done videos on that before in the past but um, I've actually got a red aftermarket Mario edition shell here which I want to try fitting to it so that's what I'm going to do in the next part of this video so I'll be taking this apart, fixing it and putting the, the new shell on it. So that's all for, for part one. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you again very soon in part two.